What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Tesla stock. So guys, I know it's been a crazy week with Tesla. The stock has gone down. Everyone thought it was going up. We're going to get rich. Guys, right now I'm going to go and show you guys what I'm looking at doing with my Tesla stock and why Tesla stock has been making the move that's making. I know this was speculation that because of Elon selling some of his stock, we're thinking that the stock went down. But guys, today I'm going to show you guys why I think the stock went down and what I plan on doing in the future. Hopefully this information I include in this video will help you guys decide what you want to do with your Tesla stock. If you just bought it, it hopefully gives you a little bit of clarity and hopefully we can make some money, guys. See you in a second. All right, guys, we're back over here inside. So over these last couple of months, the stock market has been a wild ride, I know. We've seen investors make a ton of money. They've been swimming in gold like they're Scrooge McDuck. And everyone wants to hop in the market. It's drawn in a lot of new investors and we're seeing a lot of people who weren't traditionally stock investors being able to invest. Apps like Robinhood, Webull, all these things are allowing people who were not traditional investors to be able to invest now. And it's amazing. With that being said, a lot of these new investors aren't used to how the market works. They're not used to how things have been going. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to show you guys how what's going on with Tesla is nothing new and how we're going to get through this. Guys, reason number one that we're seeing that Tesla is starting to lose value is Elon is planning to sell $5 billion in stock. So at this point, guys, there's been a lot of insider selling with Tesla and things like that. And I noticed it as an employee of Tesla. A lot of guys who worked there for years and had stock saw stock go from $200 a share all the way up to $1,000 a share. And there were guys, there were 10,000 shares and things like that where it just made sense to sell. It was a life-changing amount of money that the stock had gone up and it made sense for a lot of those guys to get out of the stock. Would you want to be someone who sold Facebook stock when you could have made $10 million? Or would you want to be someone who sold Facebook stock when you could have made $10 billion? So I understand why a lot of guys are selling right now, but now may not be the time to sell unless you are like Elon, where you have so many shares of the stock, you have so much equity in the company, that it makes sense to sell these stocks right now to be able to gain back some capital to still be able to maneuver with. One thing we see with Elon is whenever he gets a cash raise and gets any kind of money, he spends it well. He uses all of the money really well to uh, move Tesla ahead. So when I see that uh, Elon selling stock and raising $5 billion, I don't get scared that Elon's pulling his money to run because we've never seen Elon pull his money and run. I think that what Elon's going to do is put that money back in the company and then we're going to see Tesla be worth even more when he pulls that money. Guys, my second reason for Tesla stock falling is it not being included in the S&P 500. This month, guys, we saw a couple of stocks get included in the S&P 500. I want to go back here and look. I know Etsy was one of them. Um, there was a manufacturing company. To everyone's surprise, Tesla was not listed as one of the stocks included in the S&P 500. As a result of that, I mean, that was already baked into the price of the stock. A lot of these new investors that we're seeing who were so aggressively buying were buying because the stock was looking to be included in the S&P 500 after last uh, quarter's profitability. Unfortunately, we did not see Tesla stock get included in the S&P 500. Now that risk is probably high for a lot of investors and a lot of people without seeing the new money of that S&P 500 deal come in, people are afraid of uh, investing in Tesla right now. How do I feel about it? It definitely concerns me a little bit. I think the S&P 500 was gonna be a lot of new money from people who were just investing in the stock market overall. But without that money, I still believe this company is gonna go big. It's still gonna do a lot of things. Elon has been a marketing machine. He's been a machine of, at making the stock go up in price. I believe in the company. And although it's so far not been included in S&P 500, I have amazing hopes for Tesla. I'm very bullish on Tesla, and I really see it going a lot further. The third reason that I think Tesla stock has been falling recently is the upcoming election. Guys, this election's looking crazy so far. We've heard so much stuff going into it about the mail fraud or this, you know, and that, and... Whatever the case is, guys, it's been kind of crazy leading up to the election so far. And as much as we hate Donald Trump, a lot of people have been really happy about him and what he's done with the stock market, supposedly. So this transition of power or even continuing down the same path is really scary. Any kind of uncertainty is scary for investors. So right now, I think that we're going to see a lot of stocks taking a dip. It's going to be hard this fall with the election. And then whatever the result is of the election still could be kind of turbulent in the market. So that's kind of the wild card right now, guys, is the election. I think that we're going to really find out that 
there's a lot of unknown coming in here. But one thing I believe when I see a stock going down that I believe in is be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Guys, every time I've seen a stock dip, especially in March when everything dipped as a result of the virus, everyone's scared to buy stock. We're all afraid of it. And then a couple months later, when guys have made 300% returns, we all look back and say, man, I wish I was the guy that would have known to buy stock when it was down. Right now, Tesla's down. A lot of people said, "If I, oh man, I wish I could get in at a better price on Tesla. This is the better price. One thing you learn as an investor is that a lot of times when the better price comes around, you kind of have to make a decision yourself. Do I really believe in my bet? Do I really believe in this? Do I really want to buy Tesla stock? It's just like gambling. You can't bet on all favorite fighters and make a lot of money. But you got to bet on the guys that aren't guys who maybe aren't going to win. Guys who aren't that well known. Those are going to be the guys where you make your money. It has to be betting on the right guy at the right time. Again, the right stock at the right time. Guys, I really believe that Tesla stock right now is at a bargain. If we see the stock continue to dip, I believe that we should keep buying. And that's just, that's just where I'm at. This is not financial advice. That's what I'm going to do. I'm holding on to the stock I have, and hopefully I'm going to get more. So, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe. I'll have some more information for you guys. But really, guys, these are some simple reasons why Tesla stock is falling. Again, the cash raise, a lot of insider people who are you know, getting rid of stock as well, who are cashing out because... The stock's made a lot of money. Some people just want their cash. Number two, not being included in the S&P 500. That was a shock to everybody. And hopefully the stock will be included in the S&P 500. And three, the election. The election is our wild card. We don't know what's going to go on with that. And a lot of people are being a little bit careful on buying stocks with high value. Tesla is a high value stock. At this point right now, it's worth more than 95% of the stocks in the S&P 500. It's one of those stocks that's just gone crazy and i think as a result of that we got to be careful with it and again be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful enjoy guys